Hello, hello, it's Jennifer Sinceri and it is Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Today is June 11th, 2021. Fun Friday. And I am just sharing this video in the right places so it will be found. <clears throat> How are you? Please give me a comment and let me know that you are watching, that you are with me on the live. Whew, it is warm up here in my craft room. Tonight we are going to play with handsomely sweet, suited, handsomely suited bundle by request. So I have five cards, five cards that I'm going to share with you. All right, I am just going into my catalog right now, and I am looking up the page that you can find this uh, bundle on. So it's page 50 in our brand new annual catalog. All right, so page 50, and here are the stamps down here, and then we have coordinating dies that go with it. It is not sold as a bundle anymore. It used to be a bundle. It is not anymore. But the dies um, can be found on page 166, and the dies are what really make this uh, stamp set awesome. So here are the dies on page 166. They are called Suit and Tie. All right. Hi, Jeannie. Happy Friday to you. So that's what we're going to play with tonight. Please uh, give me a thumbs up on this video or a heart, and please share the video on your Facebook page. That way friends and family can find it and enjoy uh, this video as well. <clears throat> and thank you for commenting tonight with me. Hi, Carol. Um, you can find me at Stamping with Jennifer Sinceri on Facebook. You can also find me on YouTube and Instagram. And this is my business website where you can place orders, jennifersinceri.stampinup.net, and this is my current host code. So if you're placing an order um, the month of June, that is $150 less, uh, actually $149 or less, then I would like you to use this code. If your order is $150 or more, then you're going to want to not use the host code and claim your own host rewards which means you get freebies. All right, so let's see. I had to delay a little bit. Normally I am on at 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, uh, but I had to go pick up the car out of the shop. And so, you know, they tell you when to come by. It's not always convenient. So uh, that is why I'm late. Just so you know, I wasn't flaking out on you guys. All right, let's look at these dies, okay? Um, so we have a tie, and then we've got two bow ties. One's a little wider than the other one. I'm trying to get these off, and it's kind of difficult with my nails. Let's see, here we go. Let me use my U-Pick tool, that'll help me. All right, so. These dies are great for um, making suits, sport jackets, shirts. I've actually seen some cards made for women as well, uh, which was, I wouldn't have even thought of that. Do a Pinterest search or even a Google search, and you will see a ton of ideas. We've got the collar for the shirt here. Just moving these around. We've got um, a pocket. We have buttons. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. Oh, you know what? Suspenders. That would be suspenders. And then these would be the buckles on the suspenders. And, hmm, don't know what that would be. And then we've got this guy, too. Maybe this is, like, part of a, a pocket. <clears throat> okay. So, let me just put these back on. 
each card I'm going to do tonight has something a little bit different about it. Um, I actually had to borrow this uh, stamp set and die set because I don't own it. Um, my husband does not dress up in shirts and ties unless he really, really has to, has to, bless his heart. His dress up would be a Hawaiian shirt. Mm. And I'm just going to apologize in advance. We have had a lot of wind. And my allergies are kind of crazy tonight. So please bear with me. I might have to stop and take a drink. Because you know when your allergies are acting up, your throat gets a little dry. All right. So this stamp set is great for Father's Day, masculine birthdays, um, even thinking of you. Thank you cards for all the men in our life. Okay. Let's get started. Oh, let's see, which one do I want to do first? Okay, so I have taken a card base in Pacific Point. All right, so standard card base. Let me grab my ruler here so I can give you um, measure, uh, measurements here. Hi, Pamela. Let's see, I am not seeing comments. Not sure why I'm not seeing comments. Hmm. Let me refresh my page here. That's kind of odd. Let's see. Okay. I might have to do that a couple times. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing comments. I was noticing that the other night too. All right. This is a four by five and a quarter okay so it's a little um actually that's what I would normally cut it by this one is a little bit different I believe I wanted a little more white yep this is three and three fourths by five now I am using the what's it called this paper just sold out so I apologize it's the well-suited designer series paper and it was in our mini catalog, our January through June mini catalog, and it just sold out. So you're going to have to adapt these card designs if you plan on making them using some other paper. Now what I did was I took some Pacific Point card stock, and I used our, let me grab it right here to show you, our Whisper White stamp pad. Now this is a little different than a normal stamp pad. You use a, it looks like an ink refill, and you open up your pad and you put it on, and it's more like a paint, like a creamy paint. Okay, so white is a little bit different than other inks. And so what I did was I stamped it in white, and then I sprinkled white embossing powder on it and then I use my heat tool when you use just the whisper white ink after it dries it tends to fade and it's not very dark and so I really wanted that white contrast on my tie so I used some embossing powder okay all right then I took um, our gray this is, let me look at the gray, because I don't use gray a lot, to be perfectly honest with you. Let me look at the name of the gray, which one I use. I use Smoky Slate. Okay, Smoky Slate. So I stamped onto the Smoky Slate using this stamp. And so there are little lines on there. Might be hard to see, and I'll hold it up. Uh, once I'm done with this card and then I took some balmy blue and I stamped this one again using Pacific Point ink so we've got three different ties all right so we're gonna put this together and then we're gonna put a sentiment on it Whoop. oh my goodness are you glad it's Friday my week has been extremely busy. This was my first full week of summer break. I am a school teacher. And um, 
<clears throat> I think I have had something going on every single day. So much for being on vacation, right? <laughs> well, you know, the kids have things that they're doing <clears throat> and it keeps you busy. So I've been a taxi uh, driver, it seems like, this week, taking the kiddos where they need to be. I'm just going to cut some little um, frayed edges here. I think I might need to replace my blade. Looks like it. Okay. And then we're going to glue this on. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Jean. Um, I'm just going to say right now, I'm having a hard time seeing comments. Uh, it's delayed. So I am, for some reason, cannot see your comments. I have to stand up and look at my phone instead of my laptop that I usually use. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe some setting has changed or whatnot. So if I don't acknowledge you while the video is playing, I, am, I apologize right now, but I will go through and I will look at all of the comments after the video, okay? And I will answer your questions or, or comment on your comment. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do... Maybe we'll do that, where we have two up and one down, okay? And I'm thinking, we're going to have a sentiment. I'm thinking, let's use some dimensionals and pop those up. Oh my goodness, it's so hot up here. My craft room is upstairs, and it is warm up here. It's pleasant outside. It's so nice outside. It's actually cooler outside than it is in my house. I didn't run the AC today. Trying to save money when I can. We've had such lovely weather. So I'm trying not to use that air conditioner if I don't have to. Okay, so. Logan's going to leave for church summer camp on Sunday, and we're, my husband and I are going to drive. It is a four-hour drive, one way. <laughs> so, I'm thinking we're going to probably stay in a hotel and get dinner somewhere and then drive home the next day. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know that we're going to be up to driving eight hours in one day. But we are going to have a carload of teenage boys. Yeah. And then Audrey, poor thing. She's going to be in, this, uh, in our car by herself with all these boys. She chose not to go to camp. We really, really wanted her to go. But she just isn't ready. She's not, she doesn't want to be away for a whole week. And she's, she's the complete opposite as my son. She is more of an introvert, where Logan is an extrovert. Now I'm using the lines to kind of help me know where to put this. I'm looking, I've got one, two, three was where I put the point. So I'm going to go one, two, and I've got one right here. So I think I'm going to put it like right there. And I think that'll be evenly distributed. Maybe there's a little more on that side, but you know what? That's okay. Right? Good enough. So yeah, she, uh, she decided not to go to camp, which is a bummer. I was really hoping she would go. Let's see. It looks like I'm refreshing my page here. Um, so Stacy and Linda are here. Thank you, ladies, for stopping by. I don't know what's going on with my laptop. I can't see comments. I have to refresh the page to see them. Really weird. Very annoying, too. How dare, how dare my laptop be annoying? Okay. Come on. I don't think this piece wants to stay stuck. Oh, it'll stick to my finger. There we go. <clears throat> okay. 
make this one go a little down farther than the other ones just to give it um, some interest. All right, now, what kind of a card should I make this one? Let's see. I have another card that I'm planning on using for Father's Day for my husband. So I'm not going to make this one a Father's Day card. And I actually already made my dad's Father's Day card. We celebrated early. So maybe I'll make this a birthday card. Maybe this will be a birthday card. Okay. Now, when you have your stickers on, um, I've told you this before, they really stick. Um, so you have to be really careful. I, use, I usually pry them up with my U-Pick tool or a pair of scissors because if you just rip, you're going to end up ruining your stamp. All right, I need another block here. So some people love the stickers and some people don't. All right. And I'm going to use my Pacific Point ink, I think. I could use Pacific Point or I could use black. Let's see what it looks like with Pacific Point. And if I don't like it, I'll just turn it over. Not too shabby. Okay. All right. I think what we'll do is we're just going to put some double-sided adhesive on that, and it will stick to the ties. Okay. We'll do a little bit there, and a little bit there, and a little bit there. And maybe I should put two dimensionals in between. Mm. Those are my minis. Let's, let's do some full size ones. We'll put one right there and one right here. I want this to stay, ugh, to stay stuck. Okay. If you are just joining us for the video, uh, make sure to comment and uh, make sure to comment and give a thumbs up or a heart. I would really appreciate that. Okay, there's our first card. Very simple, but I think it's really cute. What do you guys think? Very cute. Okay, next card. I'm going to save my favorite for last. Okay, I'm going to do another one with the long ties, and this one's a little different. So what I did, I took our, um, which gray is this one? Let me look. It's the darker gray. Basic gray? Is that what it is? Um, yeah, basic gray. So I made a standard card base, and then I took a piece of Knight of Navy, okay, and it's quarter of an inch smaller in dimensions, and then I took white, okay, and I ran this through an embossing folder, so it's got um, some nice texture on it, okay, and this is... Oops, that's centimeters. This is three and three fourths by five. All right. Let's adhere this. So this is a little bit of a thinner border. Okay, a little bit thinner. Then what I'm going to do uh, if it didn't get misplaced, I thought I had some Knight of Navy 
Baker's twine, but maybe it walked away. We could always blame it on Percy. I'm so mean to Percy. So mean. Shelly, this DSP did sell out. Uh, I think it sold out last night. I know, and I was only able to get one ream of it. I never went back and ordered more, so I'm really kicking myself now. I wish I had ordered more. All right, I don't see my Knight of Navy um, Baker's Twine. Uh, wait, is this it? Oh, here it is. Phew. I was going to say, I know I have it. So this uh, DSP and then the ice cream DSP have sold out. And then the kangaroo stamp set has sold out. So those are the three things so far that are gone from the mini catalog. All right. Well, that's a bummer. It's happening fast. All right. I was looking for my paper here. There we go. Okay, so I am going to tie this. Let's see, do I want to, I want to do it. I think I'm going to tie it around the card base a couple times. The only thing is people will see that. So let's do... Let's do one more. I'm going to push this down because it's going to go at the bottom. All right, let me cut that off. I think I want to do it on this end. And I'm just going to knot it. I'm actually going to show you uh, the bow. I mean, yes, I'm doing a bow, but the bow is not going to go here. I'll show you um, something a little different. Okay. All right. So we're going to hide our knot. I don't want our knot to show. Then I'm going to glue this. I'm going to use liquid glue to get this really, um, no, you know what? I'll use my stamp and seal. We'll use that. That will get it down good. Let me just make sure this is centered because sometimes they move. All right, here we go. Just making sure I've got an even distribution of gray all the way around. All right, now we're going to put three ties. And what I did was I took DSP and I just cut out three ties using the die cut. This is not stamping. Uh, so this is just the die cut using... DSP. Okay? We're going to make these all the same. Alright? So let me... And I'm going to put these flat on this one. Oops. There we go. I keep picking up the wrong thing. So let me do the other one because I want to make sure I have it the same and then I'll put the one in the middle. I'm just going to put that to the side. I find that sometimes I have a hard time getting things 
even on both sides, so I want to make sure that I have enough here. I hope I'm making sense. I usually do the two outer and then I do the inside whenever I have something I'm working with. And see, I think I've got more space on that side, but oh well. Oh well. It's homemade. Okay, now for this one, we're going to make a little bow. And we have uh, a sentiment that I'm going to stamp. And I think I'm going to do this one a birthday card also. But I'm going to stamp it in Night of Navy. And let me grab my simple chamois to wash off that Pacific Point. Okay. here we'll pop that up and then we're going to do a little bow right next to it with that twine okay You know me, I like to do double bows when I do baker's twine, because I don't like wimpy bows. So I just wrap it around my fingers, and these are the, the loops, or the, the bow part. And then I have a scrap here that I'm just going to tie around it. It's actually a little bit too long, but I'm going to use it so it doesn't get wasted. Let me lay that down, and I'll pull, okay, and I'm going to trim my tails so they're all the same, I'll bring them forward, and then just snip. And then, I think that's a little bit too long, actually. Let's snip a little bit more. We'll use a little glue dot. That gives it just a little interest right there. <clears throat> I want one of those paper pumpkin glue dots so that it doesn't show. Pressing it down really good. <clears throat> and then take off the backing. And here we go. Cute as ever. And you can play with it and get it to look the way you want to. There's our next card. What do you think? You like that one? All right, so both using the ties, but in a different way. Okay. All right, so these we stamped and cut out, and then these we just used the die cut with DSP. All right, very cute. And pretty simple, not complicated. All right, now we're gonna step it up a little bit. Let's see, 
This one, how many of you have men in your life who wear bow ties? My son used to wear bow ties when he was younger. Uh, he wouldn't be caught dead in a bow tie now. Um, but he used to be so cute in bow ties. All right, this is the same gray, basic gray. And this one has a lot of layers, okay? I'm going for a crisp, that crispness in the white. So this, I want to say, I just, I keep pulling the centimeter, centimeter side. So this is four, okay? And this is four and a quarter. So that's normal. That's what I normally do. And then I have red, real red. And this is three and... It's a little bit more than three and three-fourths. I'd have to count the eights. I'm bad at eights. All right, so it's a thin, thinner white border. Then we've got another layer of white, and then another piece of that pinstripe gray. Doesn't that look sharp? Okay. So this is mm, three and a quarter, one, two, I think it's three-eighths, three and three-eighths. Okay, then I have a strip here. This is paisley. And then what I did was I stamped the bow ties and I used the die and colored them in with my Stampin' Blends. Okay, let me move these up a little bit. And then we're gonna put our sentiment here. Isn't that cute? Oh, so cute. Okay, so let me start gluing these layers. This has a lot of layers, but I think it really makes it look sharp. Pressing hard enough. Uh, it's being difficult. There we go. Mm. It's being difficult. There we go. Let me put a little more here. Okay. Got to be really careful that I get my white evenly distributed. Distributed. Can't say that right. So I was so excited. Last, let's see, Tuesday I did the Very Versailles stamp set. And Linda, who's watching tonight, she made a card using it. She took the um, idea and she made her own card and totally different um color scheme. It was so lovely. Linda, if uh, you have your picture on your phone, you could share it so that everyone could see it in the comments. I think um, they would enjoy seeing what you came up with after my video. This keeps moving. I love it when you guys try something after I've done it. I absolutely love that. And you make it your own. Change it up a bit. Make it work for you. I've got some gumminess there. My uh, silicone mat has disappeared. I have no idea where I put it. Isn't that awful? I'm going to have to go on a scavenger hunt and find it. Okay.
Now I'm thinking, what parts do I want to pop up on dimensionals? And you don't have to. It could just be all flat. It's totally up to you. I know I want the bows on dimensionals. Maybe I'll pop the red. I don't know. What do you think? Or maybe not. Maybe not. We'll just do it flat. I'm just, ha I have to refresh my page every so often so I can um, see what you guys are saying. <laughs> It definitely will probably be the last place I look. That's my luck, right? Definitely. I've got to figure out what's going on with my laptop. Why I can't see your guys' um, comments. So weird. I haven't, oops, upside down. I haven't changed any settings, so that's weird. Okay. I really like that bit of white. I like that a lot. So, what do you guys have planned for your weekend? Tomorrow, we are packing Logan up for camp. I've done all the laundry today to make sure he has what he needs. I've got one more load I need to throw in the dryer. What are you guys going to do? What is on the agenda? Hmm. Let's see. Um, I think I'll do black ink on this one. Making a lot of birthday cards, but that's okay. I always need masculine birthday cards. I never have enough. Where's my little... Oh, there it is. It rolled away. Oh, these might be a little big. Let's see. Oh, it'll work. Aren't those bow ties stinking cute? So stinking cute. Let me do my sentiments so I have enough room. So I'm doing the easier cards first. I'm leaving the last two that are a little more complicated for last. smaller. Okay, there's that card. I think that is stinking cute. So, so cute. Let's see. Oh, uh, Linda, you'll share your card when it's not live. That's fine. So Stacy has a birthday celebration. 
All right. Yeah, I really feel like that white makes it pop. So cute. Okay, now we're going to ramp it up a little bit more. Okay, so I have another Pacific Point card base. Okay, and then what I did was I have some more of that gray pinstripe. I was just using up what I had already cut into to make my paper last here. This is four by five and a quarter. So that would be my normal size that I would cut. Okay. Then what I did, and let me show you the dies so you know what pieces are what. Okay. Um, I cut a tie. So that's a no brainer. I cut a collar. All right. So you could do just a shirt. You can make this a shirt like a dress shirt. Okay, you could do it like that if you wanted. I made it a sport coat. So what I did was, or a blazer, I, I guess it would be a sport coat for a man. So what I did was I took this die, okay, and I cut the lapels, okay, let me take this tie out for a minute. All right. And then there's this other die here, this V. Okay. So I use this and I cut out this piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue this onto this. I have to do a little trimming, I think. Okay. And that's going to be the dress shirt underneath okay and then we'll put the collar on the dress shirt and then we'll add the tie so we've got a dress shirt tie and jacket that we're going to add on to this okay all right so i'm going to do the easy part first we'll get this piece put down and hopefully the other pieces will cooperate. Ah! <laughs> Has anyone else played with this? I know Sharon um, had requested this and somebody else had requested this. Um, and they're not here. Maybe, hopefully they will watch the replay. All right, I'm thinking I'm gonna use liquid glue so that I have some wiggle room in case I need to move my pieces, okay? So this would be when I need my silicone mat, but let me see, let me look one more time, see if I can find it. No, it's not normal. Oh, is that it? <gasps> Hallelujah! Miracles never cease. Okay, there it is. Yay, yay, yay. All right, I am going to put glue on our lapels and then add that to um, the little mock shirt. Okay. I'm a little nervous. I'm hoping this works. Okay. I'm working upside down because I want to, I want to see that it um, goes where it needs to go. All right, and then it looks like this was a little bit off when we, when I cut it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up. I need to do a little surgery here, which is what I was afraid of. All right, I think I think that'll work and I can just trim this little piece of white right here.
Looks like one side's a little higher than the other. Oh well, you guys are gonna have to bear with me. It's not looking all that great. I think I cut the white wrong. I wanted to, I'm gonna put it to the side so that we have a little room for our sentiment. One of my lapels is off. Oh well. Learn from my mistakes. Okay. And then we're going to put the collar on here. And we need our tie. So let me glue the tie. Oops. Actually, do it this way. Put a little glue this way. And liquid glue dries clear, thankfully. My tie needs to go in, and it's already glued down. Well, I don't know how. Pry that up a little bit. There we go. So you want to. Slip that in there. And might have to trim the tie, is what I'm thinking. I've got little gummies. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to trim the tie. Need my little gummy eraser. wait for that to dry. I think it'll be easier to get off. All right, I'm going to trim this and then I'll fix that little gum, gummy glue after it dries a bit. Here we go. That works. This collar is a little funky. You don't have one of these. They sell them at Dollar Tree of all places in the craft aisle. Wonderful. Okay, now we're going to Put our sentiment on here, and I'm going to use a tag. I'm going to grab a little bit of white paper, and I need some Pacific Point. All right. And let me wash off my stamp, because I can't remember what ink color I used last. I think it was navy. All right. The punch that I'm going to use is called the Tailored Tag Punch. Okay, let's close our ink. put this on right here kind of in the place of where his pocket would be 
What do you guys think? Well, let's do a few dimensionals on that one. Okay, after this, I've got one more card, and it's my favorite. All right. It's not perfect, but not too bad for the first time using those dies. Okay. All right, I'm just looking at your comments. Because I, like I said, I have to keep refreshing my page because I can't see you guys and what you're saying. So you have an all occasions class on Sunday, okay. All right, last card. Okay, so I told you my husband is not a shirt and tie type of guy. He's a Hawaiian shirt type of guy. So I made a Hawaiian shirt. All right, I took some Knight of Navy. Now I am using some retired paper, so forgive me. This was something I had in my stash and I just needed something that looked Hawaiian. Okay, so I forget what this is called. It's from a couple of years back. Ooh, I've got those little tabs everywhere. And because I used that liquid glue, I've got gluey fingers. All right, so we're going to adhere this DSP to our card. So I'm sorry I'm using some retired paper. Then I took a piece of white paper and I ran this through the embossing folder to give it a little bit of texture, okay? Now I'm going to work on this piece and then I will glue that down. So what I did was I cut a rectangle out using some of the um, best dressed paper. And so this is two and three fourths by three and three fourths, okay? Then I cut a collar out, all right? And we'll pop, we're gonna pop the collar with some dimensional so you can see the collar. Then what I did was I took one of my stitched rectangles, dies, okay? I just cut out a rectangle and I cut it in half. These are gonna be my sleeves. All right? And then I cut the pocket with the die. And then what I ended up doing was trimming it to make it smaller to fit the dimension of this shirt. So we're going to pop that up. And then I cut out a few navy buttons so his shirt can have buttons. All right. We have three of them, and they're sticking to me. All right. And that's going to be my Hawaiian shirt. Okay? I think you'll be able to see it better once I put dimensionals on. Okay. So this is going to be my husband's Father's Day uh, card. Hopefully, hopefully, it comes out. I'm going to use our mini dimensionals, although it looks like I could use regular on the collar. Let's see. Boop. 
Don't need my spatula. Okay. Be really careful with this die because it just has this tiny little piece that's connecting and it would be very easy to tear. All right, so we're going to, we want our collar to be in line with the top of the shirt. All right, can you see the collar a little bit better now? I hope I'm, I hope I'm in the camera. Can you see the collar? Okay. Now, let's put the pocket on. Okay. And then, I can't pop the buttons, so we're just going to use couple dabs of glue and do our buttons and I'm gonna use some tweezers I think or you know what you could use your um, gummy end of your you pick tool but I actually don't have mine out right now so I'm improvising All right, now, the sleeves. Okay, now I'm going to have to do a little trimming, and that's okay. We want them, they're going to hang over, but we want to make sure they don't hang over completely on the other part of the card. And let's see. Yeah, I'm going to cut those little tips off because I'm trying to meet the sleeve with the top of the shirt. Okay, so let me make sure those, let me make sure that works. It's off a little bit. So, let's see if I can fix it. I don't want it to hang off too much. Does that work? a little better. Let's see how that, that one's better. This set takes a little bit of patience, just a tad. All right, I guess that will work. Turn that a little bit more. All right now, I need to adhere this better. It's going to be a little bit off, but oh well, right? I want to pop that with dimensionals. Yeah.
Okay. So while Logan is away at camp this next week, I may attempt to paint Audrey's room. We shall see if that will happen. She, her birthday is the end of July, and for her birthday, she wanted a room redo. So she is getting rid of her ocean mermaid room, and she's going to go Parisian style. Big girls. All right, what do you think of my Hawaiian shirt? Is it cute? Now, I cut um, a little rectangle, and I used the other stamp that says, Have a Happy Father's Day, Handsome. And so I'm going to put that here. Okay. So, let's adhere this. This is more my husband's style. All right, there is his card. All right, I think it came out pretty good for totally having to piece it together. There's my suit, my sport coat, my ties, my bow ties, and then my neckties. I hope that you like these cards. Maybe it gave you a few ideas. I know some of you really wanted to see the set in action. So I hope you enjoyed it. All right. Have an awesome weekend, guys. Stay safe. Stay cool. Um, let's see. I am not going to be on until probably next Tuesday. So if you guys have anything that you want to request that you want to see, put it in the comments. I will do what I can to accommodate you. Um, I've got a couple things in mind, but I always want to hear what you guys want to see and what um, you're interested in. So let me know, okay? All right, if you have not already hit the follow button on Facebook, hit the follow button and that way you will get notifications every time I go live. And again, thanks for giving me your hearts and your thumbs up and please share the video with your friends and I will see you next Tuesday. All right, happy weekend everyone. Bye.